G'day everyone, Duckville here for game number two between our Protoss and Zerg opponents down on the right side of Belshire Beach. This is a summer version. Hope you've got an umbrella for some shade and a beach ball. We're going to be playing out on the beach today. It is going to be our yellow Zerg. It is Leon Zenamoon, who is actually a Xenex pet. His opponent across to the right, uh, left side, I should say, going to get my directions right someday, is uh, our Protoss hero who sent me through these replays, thank you very much to him, is uh, Next Sickness, aka DTG Sickness, and it looks as if he's going to head out to get a fast expand going with the Forge. This is the uh, sort of the updated version of this one, so it's not the one where you have double entries into the natural expansion here. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. So you can just actually uh, Forge Wall this section here and be good to go. Um, I'd be very surprised to see if Pet actually just uh, goes with a non-expand build, but uh, he, we did see him in the previous game. I think he got speed first. I'm not actually sure, but um, a previous game was a good one there from these guys. We saw uh, Sickness get out a couple of Colossi, defend a very early Roach Hydra push from Pet, uh, and then proceed to push through with that standard sort of laser ball from there. And uh, interested to see how he expands on this one because I haven't actually seen him expand to uh, forge fast expand too much uh, as of late. He loves the, the sort of the one base style, uh, especially with the expansions coming out um, after a few gates. Um, and actually, there it is. He is going to go. Uh, Xenex Pet is going to go for that one base opening here, not getting the fast hatchery here. Just perhaps a little bit worried about some of the shenanigans that Sickness tends to pull with cannons. Um, he has done some crazy sorts of cannon rushes. I'm not actually sure how you would cannon rush this map. There's not enough uh, minimal space behind the mineral line to block out this section here, but um, I don't know. Either way, we're not going to see that because he's gone Nexus first. Going to put down the forge in just a second once he gets some more minerals. Currently sitting at 18 probes. Um, it's sort of it's sort of dependent how you like to play out this build yourself, whether you go to 17 or whether you go to 18. Some people will advise that 17 is the best way to do it. I say it's up to you, whatever works for you and makes uh, lets you get the uh, Nexus up and running and of course the wall up and running as well. So uh, again, one uh, one drone inside the extractor here for Pet. He's, uh, he's obviously looking to get some... Uh, he's got the speed already on the way and then he's perhaps going to have enough available to get another upgrade very soon. But it looks as if he's uh, going to head out and get this expansion going. Four lings are out. Now a double pylon is being built here for Sickness. So he's uh, does, he really wants to block out this natural expansion here. But he does have to cancel that. And six lings are out. That's actually quite a lot of lings for this stage of the game. Again, probably going to try and go for some early pressure here. Sickness does have this almost all covered up here. Now with two cannons at the front. A little bit uh, surprising to see him get two cannons. Of course there are a lot of lings around on the map and this probe again is still around to try and cause some harassment. Uh, is going to maybe just get inside. No, the Queen comes out and she does block that off. Good timing there for the Queen to come out and uh, stop that probe from getting any sorts of intel from the Zerg there. But uh, here we go. It looks as if Sickness is uh, now prepared. He's got his wall up and running. The two cannons are done, so there is no way that these lings are going to do anything. And uh, we'll see. In fact, the bailing nest on the way. So Pen has decided that he really needs to bust through this very quickly here. A little bit surprising to see him go for uh, that bailing bust build. But he is going to get that out in just a second. A pylon coming up here from Sickness. I'm not totally sure if this is a full wall. I think it is now with that pylon blocking it. But uh, there are a lot of lings out. We've got speed done. The Bailings are now morphing in here. We've got five going up, and they are going to be up in just a second. Probably want to try and target down this section here. If you can run in here and get some damage done on the forge, the cannon, and the gateway, that'd be really good. But here we go. We've got some lings to tank the front here. They're going to hold up the Zealots. The cannons, meanwhile, are trying to get what they can done, and they actually bust through. The cannon was uh, the only thing blocking that section of the base there, and now the probe inside... Pet is going to have to be very careful with what he does here, but he does get a decent hit off with that, uh, with the uh, uh, bailing there, and the Lings now trying to pick off whatever uh, probes they can. They should be able to uh, get a few more kills before they are picked off, and they're going to probably run around and just be incredibly annoying. And now Sickness has to be uh, ready to defend a possible secondary attack from uh, from Pep, but it looks as if he's just going to stick with uh, the harassment from the links that are inside, and then just going to use these guys to uh, get as much damage as he can while he's droning up back home. So, 
a good bust there from Pet. He's still got three links inside, which are causing uh, just a lot of distress. It's always very annoying to try and deal with these guys when they're inside uh, your base. But two Zealots out inside defending the main mineral line. Good stuff there from Sickness to be prepared to defend against these links. Uh, but the links are now able to def uh, come up and harass at this uh, natural expansion. He will be able to, should be able to get a couple of kills here. Does kill off two of the links. One left over. This guy is running around madly trying to escape from that deadly, uh, that deadly group of probes that's chasing after him and will survive for the moment just to uh, get some more uh, harassment done and now it looks as if Sickness is going to go for his own counter attack we've got three Zealots now pushing across the map a fourth is also done as well a Stalker is out that's the reason why Sickness is comfortable with pushing out the Stalker can of course take care of any of the Lings that were inside um, and we'll see what Sickness is going to do here he does as we said he's got four Zealots here these guys will really be able to help out with this attack they're probably only going to be Lings out from Pet he knows that and uh, is going to be easily able to come in here and get some damage done. The eight lings are now just jumping in here from uh, Pet. He's now got that out and with some good surround there he is able to keep uh, some, most of those links alive does get a good surround again keeping them alive trying to make sure that the queen stays alive that's the big part here queen does not escape and in fact that is actually not too bad there from sickness he's killed off a bunch of these links and now with this uh, this zealot still running around causing all sorts of mischief there there's only one ling left and there's no way that's going to be able to take care of that last remaining zealot and a few more links also coming out we've got eight on the way a spire also being built here by pet inside the main base here no inject on that main a little bit uh, surprising to see a qual quality player like him missing out on an inject but Lings are now the, the order of the day here. They've uh, come out in force. There's a whole big group of them here. And now Sickness has decided it's go time, getting up a double Stargate. So he's going to look to try and get a big play going here. If he can get out uh, a couple of Void Rays, he'll be in a really nice spot. But the problem is, by the time the Void Rays come out, there should be a few muters on the map, and they will be able to take care of those Void Rays when they get into the game. Now... Uh, Overseer just checking out what's happening here. Uh, he did see the double Stargate, so he will be prepared for that. Once those muters come out, as we said, he should be fine, but he is going to get a Hydralist Den just in case. Uh, of course, the muters can't be everywhere at once unless you've got 83 billion of them. So he needs to have a few Hydras back at base just in case he wants to harass. If he comes in here with the muters, uh, does some harassment on the main mineral line, he should be able to... Uh, he should be able to defend back at home with the Hydras. Now, Sickness is going to get out a Phoenix first. I'm not sure if he's actually going to go uh, pretty hardcore on those Phoenix. That could be what his plan is, but he does have plus one to air weapons on the way. Could we see a Sky Toss build here from Sickness? He does have all four of those gas, so that does help out with building a lot of air units, considering how much gas they cost. And we'll see if he is going to get that going. He's got a Robotics Bay and... Wow, double Robo, double Stargate. Not actually sure what the plan is here from Sickness, perhaps. Uh, he is, no, he is going to get a couple of Void, ray, uh, void Rays out. Here they come. Uh, the Phoenix that's out on the map is just being all annoying, finding a couple of Overlords. He should be able to kill off uh, maybe one or two. There is an extra one just across to the side here, but he is going to head inside and scout first. What is he going to see? He's going to fly through, he sees that the Hydras are there, sees the uh, the extra Evo Chambers, I'm pretty sure they are, and uh, should be able to see that his opponent has been forced into Hydra, and perhaps some Muters, uh, but he hasn't actually spotted the Spire just yet. So this is actually looking really good for Sickness. He's got the, ro the double Robo here, which is going to help him out with um, just pushing out a whole heap of Colossus, and here we go, double Colossus production starting, there it is. So he's going to switch in, being, being very tricky here, Forcing uh, the forcing the the Hydra response to the double Stargate, and then is uh, going to just switch straight into the double Robo. So. This could get a little bit messy here for Xenex Pet if he is not uh, well versed in scouting out his opponent. He can see uh, what has he actually found just yet. He, other than that, yeah, no, he's only seen the Stargates. Hasn't seen that the uh, Robo Bay is done or that there is a double uh, Robo facility up. So this could get a little bit messy. Here we go. We've got some lings just... Uh, I don't know what these guys are doing. Is there some in there? Yes, there is. They're hiding under the trees. Not really sure what they're trying to do. Perhaps they just need some shade. They don't have any sunblock on. Uh, but now the Colossi out. We're just going to switch into an old school style death ball here from Sickness. I think this is going to be the Void Ray Colossus death ball. This is very taxing on gas. So he's got to be careful with how he spends his gas from now. As we can see, getting a couple of zealots out to make sure that he's not spending too much of the gas. Plus one to miss uh, to range... 
uh, sorry, ground weapons on the way for him as well. So he's going to have a whole bunch of Colossi out with plus one to weapons. They are going to have extended Thermal Lance and also some Void Rays as well. Very, very interesting play here from Sickness. Now, uh, now, what has Pet got? He's got a couple of Infestors out. They do have their Pathogen Glands upgrade, so they should be able to get some nice Fungals down. We've got uh, Roaches and Hydras and Lings. So we'll have to see how uh, Xenex Pet is going to proceed with this. He really needs to make a big decision as to what exactly he's going to do. Um, but he is busy trying to get this third base up and running. He really does need this if he wants to make sure that he has the economy to support this big tech group that he's got going. With the Infestors taking up a lot of the gas, we've got a plus one to Missile. Uh, to the air attacks on the way, so he's going to need some Corruptors out shortly, upgrades all over the place as well, so he's going to have plus one to Missile and Carapace as well. Um, and yeah, this could just get a little bit crazy soon. We'll see how Sickness decides to proceed. He's getting up this third base here. I really like this timing. He's got enough Colossi to defend, as well as the Void Rays, and they are going to be able to hold any sort of attack on this base here. And with the cannons and the gateway wall, that is going to look really nice for Sickness if uh, any sort of attack comes along because he's going to be easily able to defend it. Now the uh, the third base just about to complete here for Sickness. Going to probably transfer some of these probes across the work account. Looking good for both players at 64 probes for Sickness. 70 drones for Xenex Pet. So he's looking really nice. Now uh, the Hive is on the way for, for Pet. He's going to get that out and probably, I would assume, going to get some Broodlords out. I highly doubt he's going to pick up some Ultralis. That's probably the worst way to proceed, given that he spent a lot of time getting these, uh, these upgrades for his ranged attackers. As we can see, when you commit to those, uh, those missile attacks and that sort of thing at the start of the game, it's uh, a big sign that you're actually going to stick with those types of attackers. So, uh, here we go, good walling here from Sickness. I really like watching this guy play, he plays really intelligently, so uh, it's always good fun to watch. Now, here goes that uh, big ball through the middle, there's four Colossi, we've also got a bunch of Void Rays, there's four of those as well, gonna try and deny this fourth expansion here for Pet. Here we go, the force field's coming out, nice force field there, and should be able to head back safely. We'll see how he goes. There are, the Void Rays should be able to take care of these uh, of these Corruptors, but the Hydras on the ground are going to be the annoying thing. Will the Colossi be able to clean these up? It looks as if they will not be able to. The Corruptors having trouble dealing with both of these big air targets, the Void Rays and the Colossus. It looks as if that was a really nice move from Sickness to pull out a few Void Rays, but with so many Hydras and Corruptors out on the field, the Colossi still surviving, and the last remaining Stalkers are able to help clean up this attack, and it looks as if uh, Sickness will be free to proceed through through this section of the map, cleaning up some of these creep tumors. He should be able to uh, even get this far up and perhaps put some pressure on the natural here for uh, Pet, but uh, I'll be, we'll have to see if he does proceed with that. The double Stargate, again, is uh, really going to help out here. We've got uh, Colossi. I had to cancel that one because he didn't have enough Chrono to boost both of these and doesn't have enough to make two at once. Um, but uh, it looks as if Sickness is sitting nicely on these three bases. We've got uh, Gas coming out, the Wazoo. We've got six geysers now, which is really going to help him out with uh, getting these high power units out. Uh, and there they go, there go those destructible rocks. Now, the creep spread from Pet has been really good, despite the fact that it's all underwater. He's actually spread the creep quite nicely across the map. And this probe having a bit of a swim, putting a pylon down, and then is going to take this gold base. Now, the gold base only has five mineral patches and only a, uh, it's a rich Vespan geyser, so you pull out a little bit more gas per trip. Uh, so he, sh if he can, if he can take that and keep that, he'll be in a really, really good spot. As you can see, Pet has decided to take the fourth base across to the left-hand side. He's going to get that up and uh, look very nice once he gets that. But I, I just don't think he's going to be able to compete with a four-base Protoss with uh, one of the bases being a gold with rich gas on it. Uh, but here he comes. It looks as if we've got a bunch of Colossi here. Three of them in the mix. Three Void Rays, four Void Rays, five Void Rays as well. Um, like the count from Sesame Street, it's going crazy in here. But Pet does have a really decent force with the Corruptors helping out in the sky. The Roaches and the Hydras on the ground should be able to do a lot of damage. And last, that uh, still laying around on that creep is not uh, playing around on the creep is not the best idea for Sickness losing a lot of that and that is a big investment loss he's now down to 95 supply into the 123 of Pet gonna lose this fourth base he will have to cancel that there is no way that is gonna survive but perhaps he is gonna fight back we've got the plus two to plus two two on these Zerg units so they are doing quite a lot of damage and taking quite a lot less 
The Void Rays, however, are still doing a lot of damage. And now with the Hydras, the Corruptors, all of these units are going to go down. Of a, a one a lonely Infestor coming out, putting down a Infested Terran. It's going to help out a tiny bit, but not enough. And it looks as if Sickness will hold this. So good job there by him. Uh, thought he had no chance of holding that, but there may be a secondary attack here from Pet. He's got Lings and Hydras and Roaches coming in. Corruptors available to put down some corruption, and not to mention take care of any air units. And Sickness is looking a little bit troubled right now. He's starting to lose his uh, mining. He's lost all the mining in the main base here. The natural is starting to wear a bit thin, as we can see. The third base still looking good, of course, although there's actually quite a low amount of probes on that one. And now losing the fourth has put him in a tr little bit of a troublesome spot. I'm not going to say he's out of the game, but uh, it is not going to help that he doesn't have that base up, especially when his opponent is a very high quality Zerk who now has a fourth base and is looking to take his own gold base, which will put him in a very nice position. So we're just waiting to see if a pet is going to switch across to these Broodlords here. He does have that ready to go. Plus one to missile uh, to the air attacks is also done. So just a bit surprised that he hasn't pulled out the Broodlord card just yet. But he is focusing on getting his uh, getting his economy in good shape. He's currently sitting on 68 drones at the moment on a mineral income of around about 1,800. Not too bad at all. 900 gas also coming through as well. So he's uh, just sticking with the ground forces for the moment. We've got a lot of Hydras here just perhaps sensing that the with the with that large amount of Colossus death, that is uh, going to be a really nice time to pull out a lot of Hydras. So I'm still uh, not sure about the big mix, though. A lot of Corruptors, a lot of Hydras, a lot of Roaches, a lot of Lings. It's a little bit odd to see a big mix such as that. But Sickness is pulling out uh, a few Immortals here. He's got four on the map at the moment. Going to use them to take uh, a lot of the damage, tanking a lot of the damage from those Roaches. Uh, and here we go. We do finally have some Broodlords coming out from Pet. He's got four. Probably a couple more will come through as well. Maybe just keeping those Corruptors as Corruptors for the time being. Uh, the fourth base, fourth hatchery is now up and running for him, so he's looking pretty good right about now. And Sickness has got to be thinking, what am I going to do from here? He's going to try and take the fourth base just across here. If he can get that, he'll be looking nice, but the Death Ball is uh, switching around to a Tank Ball. We've now got six Immortals out. No more extras on the way, but a lot of upgrades are now coming through. He's got uh, plus two to weapons on the way, plus two to armor also coming through as well. That's really going to help out. And Storm is also coming along as well. So Sickness is going to switch over into a different style of Death Ball. It's one that's a little bit more tanky and perhaps will be able to deal with that large Hydra force with the Storms. But the Broodlord is now coming across four of them. They're going to be doing a lot of damage here. Some good force fields helping out. These Corruptors are effectively useless right about now. Now, but the Broodlords are the big, big unit here with not too many Stalkers available. It's going to be really troublesome for Sickness to try and defend against this. A couple of Templar coming out, but they have no energy at all, so they will not be able to storm. And Sickness is looking very, very troubled right about now, holding himself up next to this base that has a bunch of cannons ready. But I still think he's going to be in a lot of trouble, morphing in more Broodlords here. Uh, Pet is looking in a really good spot. He's, once those Broodlords morph in, this game will probably be over, especially considering these Stalkers are all dying very, very quickly. And now dropping into these extra Broodlords. The Templar still have no energy just at the moment, and Storm has only just completed as well. Trying to get Blink up, which will help a little bit, but the Hydra's now dancing, getting a Storm on top of those Hydras while they were dancing right in front of him. A little bit of BM there from uh, from our good friend Xenex Pet, but he does take the game at number two from Sickness. So good job there. Just uh, really taking these bases, being nice and secure in his economy, sitting uh, very, very nicely there, and denying his opponent. Denied this uh, gold base from going up. Denied this one for a little while, though Sickness was a bit late to get to that one. And then switching into those Broodlords once the Stalkers were very low. So good job there by Xenex Pet. We will go into game number three and see who is going to take the next one. I'll catch you there.